Yuji, how, how ready are you for day two today? Are you as ready as I am? I'm ready. I'm pumped. A lot of good I am. patients, a lot of good speakers. It's going to be a good day. And it's going to be a good day. I absolutely agree to that. All right. We do have people still coming in, but we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, thank you. And welcome to the Pre-Sales Collective Executive Summit Day 2. So for those that were here yesterday, welcome back. For those that are here today for the first time, we're glad to have you here. Um, I'm James Kakis, and I'm joined by Yuji Higashi. We are the co-founders of the Pre-Sales Collective. Uh, we're super excited uh, to be here today. I, I can't thank everyone who's here enough. You know, it's funny, Yuji and I have both led pre-sales organizations at fast-paced startups. So Yuji is still at Outreach, and I used to be at Showpad and moved to Salesforce a year ago uh, yesterday. And it's been really fun to, to be part of this journey and, and to have this summit uh, is, is truly amazing. And I'm just going to spend a couple minutes kicking us off, pass it to Yuji, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So that being said, I, I can't thank everybody enough for being here today. I also want to thank all the presenters who put time and effort into making yesterday and today a success the Cisco team for helping out with all the operations, and all of you for being here. I know it is busy time. Some of us, it's the end of the quarter, so we really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. Um, it, it is really amazing to see how things went yesterday, the interaction with the community. Um, so we are really excited for day two. And, you know, how I want to start is, is to talk about 2020 generally. I know 2020 has just been a rough year uh, for everyone, right? And some more than others, and we do want to be sensitive to that. Um, but we also want to talk about some exciting things because I think 2020 has been an amazing year for our profession of pre-sales. And we mentioned this in our welcome email that we feel like it's been a massive step forward. I, I kind of joked with UG and some people that I felt like in January, my, and I'm one of these people, I was posting on LinkedIn about pre-sales and you were starting to see some posts by a few people. I joked that maybe it was New Year's resolution. And here we are, right? We're, we're almost at November. And I feel like every time I go on LinkedIn, there are dozens and dozens of people talking about our amazing profession. And that can't be done without people like you putting in the time, energy, and effort. I think we've definitely seen a shift, right? So there's plenty of companies. There's products. I mean, I've personally talked to almost one or two dozen companies who've built products for our profession this year alone. There's multiple podcasts that have populated, a few more authors, and the term pre-sale is just floating around everywhere. Sales engineers, solutions consultants, it's really starting to become a very common knowledge, especially with people that, that aren't necessarily, weren't necessarily aware of our profession earlier. And I was actually talking to Matt Darrow and Vivin uh, a couple of weeks ago, and they actually just got a round of funding. Congratulations to them. Uh, their Series A, but previously when maybe they were looking for seed and talking to investors, they had to educate people what pre-sales actually was. You know, they spent a lot of their time saying, like, this is who we are, and this is why we came to that market. And he told us that in his recent conversations, investors and executives knew who pre-sales professionals were, their job, how important they were. And I think that is sort of the movement that we're going to, we've seen so far this year and we'll continue to see. I mean, it really has been amazing to see, you know, things like the Pre-Sales Collective start. And when Eugene and I, you know, started Pre-Sales Collective, we wanted to have a place for pre-sales people to come to. We felt like if you weren't in the one or two, or, or I should say three or four cities that had a local group, like how could you connect with pre-sales professionals? And we were both in startups, and that's how we've known each other and, and bounced ideas off each other. And, and boom, here we are in November and this amazing community has, has really come together. And I just want to briefly read um, our mission statement because I do think it's, it's core to what we do, right, and, and what we're trying to achieve. And the mission of Pre-Sales Collective is to provide pre-sales professionals with resources, knowledge, network, and mentorship to develop long and impactful careers, a place where individuals in a pre-sales role or aspire to be a pre-sales role will be supported in their professional development. And we want to recognize a lot of the things that the amazing pre-sales profession people are doing in our profession. Actually, yesterday in our deck summit day one, um, our keynote, Jeff Margolius from, from ServiceNow, um, taught, actually brought on his CIO to talk about how you could actually go from pre-sales to C-suite. And it's, it's really amazing to see that that career journey and career path is starting to exist for professionals. 
And I think one of the things too is there's so many communities out there that support our sales counterparts, our BDRs, but, but nothing for us, right? And I think that really has changed this year. And we really want to highlight on this slide, like these are some of the things that we that pre-sales professionals have done with pre-sales collective this year. But the 125 members that have contributed to content, whether that's blogs, podcasts, webinars, I mean, that's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And it's great to see so many faces and so many people that are doing amazing things and, and, and highlighting that. And one thing that I do want to talk about is that people ask, like, what is Pre-Sales Collective going to be? Like, what's the vision? And to us, like, we have a vision and we're executing on it, but the community is what dictates where we spend our time, where we spend our energy and effort. So we want to thank you and for all those that have can raise your hand and will continue to raise your hand. We can't do that without you. And so I just want to briefly touch on some of the things that we're highlighting for the end of the year. Pre-Sales Collective is at around 6,500 people globally. Um, but our goal is to be about 8,000 by the end of the year. And we want to continue f focusing on programs. Like our Women in Solutions Excellence Program, we're going to be getting companies, you know, that are having WISE, PSC-sponsored WISE programs in their company. We're going to be doing more blueprints and frameworks. There's a couple projects that are being worked on right now to stop reinventing the wheel. How many times do you see people on Slack asking a question like, who's got this resource? Who's done this? Like, let's, let's put some things out there. Uh, you've actually seen that with an awesome uh, infographic uh, that was written by a couple of pre-sales individuals recently. Uh, we'll be putting out publications. We'll continue to focus on local chapters. You know, I think for Pre-Sales Collective, we want to continue to make sure that we are catering to the local needs, right? So why should I or UG dictate what matters in Japan or Australia or France, right? So people in those local individual, <coughs> excuse me, local communities are building content. And we'll continue with the webinar series. We're actually doing a really fun thing called the Real Talk webinar series. We're taking surveys from the community and bringing them to the table. And we'll be focusing on our jobs and our community service. And just briefly, and we're going to talk about this more at the end of today, what we want to do with Pre-Sales Collective in 2021, a continued emphasis on programs, a continued emphasis on events. So our, our, our next event is going to be in early 2021. It's going to be called the Next Generation Pre-Sales Leaders. It'll be for people that are in their first or second year managing teams. There'll be people who want to get into pre-sales leadership. Uh, we're really excited for that. We'll continue to have leadership summits. You're going to see a little bit more training on the Pre-Sales Collective um, website and through our programs. We've got an awesome technical training that was built by the community. We've partnered with some education partners, which we'll talk about later today, and we'll be focusing on benchmarks and studies. So, again, at the end of today's session, we're going to highlight this a little bit more. That being said, I want to go ahead and turn it over to Yuji. All right, thanks, James. So why are we here today? We have a, a, a jam-packed schedule for you guys today with a lot of uh, information and a really incredible speakers. So today we'll kick it off with Bernie Frazier, who's an author and career strategist. Uh, she's going to speak about your success is, is in you, and she'll provide insight into how to get more success and satisfaction from, from your career. After that, we'll uh, go to, uh, with Matt Darrow, who's co-founder of Vivint, and, and Eve Bezant, who leads the SC org at Snowflake. Uh, they'll get into how pre-sales is becoming the future of every enterprise. It's a very forward-thinking presentation that, that I'm personally very excited about hearing more. Uh, you know, Matt especially has been very forward-thinking in pre-sales, and so he'll pro provide a lot of a lot of great insight in that presentation. Then we'll get into small group networking breakouts, uh, which is which will consist of two sessions, 15 minutes each. Uh, you'll be able to connect with three other people in each session, so a total of six across the two breakouts. And this is really your chance to to network with your peers, right? To, to connect with other other people. Uh, normally, we get to do this at summits or conferences over a cocktail or beer, and hopefully, we'll get to do that again someday. Uh, but until then, you know, we know that networking and connecting with with other folks uh, in, in you know similar shoes to you is important, and so that's what we want to provide you with. So definitely take advantage of the opportunity to connect with other pre-sales leaders. Uh, after that, you'll definitely want to rejoin to, to uh, join Cindy uh, in a presentation that, where she'll cover how AI and machine learning could alter the career paths of hundreds of pre-sales professionals. Cindy uh, is somebody who's done uh, some really, really cool things in her pre-sales organization with data. Uh, you know, very advanced stuff, and I've heard a little bit about the presentation in the past, and, and it's really, really intriguing. So I really encourage you to join that presentation. And then following that, we'll get into two discussions uh, and presentations, the first being with Garen Hess, who will host a star-studded panel of pre-sales leaders, uh, Leah, Delia, and Brian, where they'll share their collective experiences on how to develop not just your average pre-sales 
team, but an elite pre-sales team. I think that's why, you know, all of us here are, are, are here today, right? Because we, we don't want to be average. We want to be better than average. So uh, they'll provide a lot of interesting insight in that conversation. And then to round out the day, we'll have Stephen Morris, uh, Nas Irani, and Matt Finch, uh, who will cover five roles that pre-sales leaders play, right? Which is a session that will be uh, very interesting. I, I've seen the content. Um, I'm super interested in it. And um, it's, it'll be relevant to everybody in the audience today, right? Since we're all pre-sales leaders and all have a role to play. So with that, a couple of just quick things before we get into it. Uh, you know, how do you get the most out of today? The, the first is participate and engage, right? Ask questions in the Q&A box. We'll, we'll, we'll do our best to answer them as we go through the presentations. And, and join the networking breakout, right? That's there for you to, again, connect and, and, and um, make, connect, uh, make connections and meet, meet your peers. And then be, be present, right? There's a ton of distractions right in front of you, right? Your email, um, you know, your phone, your Slack is blowing up, I'm sure. But, but being present is really investing in yourself uh, and getting the, the, the learning and development that, that we're here to provide you with today. We have plenty of breaks built in the schedule, so you'll have opportunity to check your, your texts or your Slacks, your emails. Um, so definitely be present as you can. And then, you know, lastly, just enjoy the time with your peers, right? How often do you get to hang out virtually with hundreds of other pre-sales leaders, right? It's not often. And so we encourage you to, uh, you know, uh, enjoy, enjoy that time together. All right. And the last thing that we have to do before we jump into it is just thank our sponsors because this event wouldn't be possible without them. So Vivint and Consensus are both really, really incredible products for specifically built for pre-sales teams, uh, as well as, you know, sale, their sales counterparts. Uh, they've both been incredible advocates for pre-sales in general, but also our community. So we, we really appreciate their support. DocuSign, uh, specifically Leah, who is a huge supporter of our community from day one, and specifically also the, the WISE program that she's very involved with. Really want to thank her. And then a super, super special thank you to Cindy goodwin Sack from Cisco and her team, Lori and Gina, for helping drive logistics. They've spent countless hours, hours and hours and hours, helping us plan and coordinate for this event um, yesterday and today. So really want to thank them. And with that, we'll pass it back to you, James, to introduce our keynote. All right. Thanks, Yuji.